In this video, I will compare the Intel Core Ultra 5125H and the Intel Core i5-13500H, highlighting their differences, and then provide a conclusion to help you determine which one is the better choice. Both of these processors are from Intel, but they belong to different generations and have different architectures. So let's examine their variances. The Core Ultra was released 11 months after the release of the Core i5-13500H. This Intel Core Ultra features 4 performance cores and 10 efficiency cores, whereas the Core i5-13500H has 4 performance cores and 8 efficiency cores. Additionally, in terms of threads, the Core Ultra has more than the Core i5-13500H. When considering base clock frequency, the Intel Core i5-13500H operates at 2.6 GHz, while the Core Ultra runs at 1.2 GHz. Consequently, under normal loads, the Core i5-13500H outperforms the Core Ultra 5125H. Moreover, in terms of boost clock frequency, the Core i5-13500H surpasses the Core Ultra 5125H. Hence, during heavy loads, the Core i5-13500H performs better. In terms of cache size, the Core Ultra 5125H has a slightly higher L1 cache compared to the Core i5-13500H. A larger cache aids in faster data access and reduced latency. Regarding memory size, both processors support up to 96GB of RAM. Both processors support DDR5 and LPDDR5 memory, but the Core Ultra 5125H boasts a slightly higher frequency. Consequently, memory access will be faster with the Core Ultra 5125H. Both processors feature integrated graphics. The Core Ultra 5125H supports ARC Graphics 7 cores, while the Core i5-13500H supports Intel Z Graphics 80EU. Additionally, the graphical frequency of the Core Ultra is 2200 MHz, whereas that of the Core i5-13500H is only 1450 MHz. If integrated graphics performance is crucial for your needs, such as basic gaming or light video editing without a dedicated GPU, the Ultra 5125H might be the preferable choice. Neither of these processors supports ECC, making them unsuitable for critical systems like servers and workstations. Both support PCI version 5 and have 28 PCI lanes. The peak temperature supported by the Core Ultra 5125H is slightly higher than that of the Core i5-13500H. The TDP of both processors is configurable, but the Core Ultra can achieve a much lower wattage compared to the Core i5-13500H. It's worth noting that these TDP values are not officially disclosed by the manufacturer's website, but information gathered from various sources suggests that the Ultra 5 might have a slightly lower TDP compared to the i5-13500H due to its use of a 7 nanometers manufacturing process, potentially leading to better efficiency. Furthermore, if you compare benchmark results, such as Geekbench V6 and Cinebench R23, the Core i5-13500H demonstrates superior performance. If you seek my recommendation, Choose for the i5-13500H if you prioritize overall CPU performance for demanding tasks such as video editing, 3D rendering, or multitasking with heavy applications. Select the Ultra 5125H if you require a balanced CPU performance, good integrated graphics, and potentially improved battery life. This much for today. If you like this video please like share and subscribe to the channel. Also click on bell icon to never miss any update. Thank you.